Hello, this is Mrs. Brown, and this is part three of the Unit 6 graded assignment. So you've just finished your fruit image, and the next thing we need to do is export this image as a JPEG. So in our Unit 6 folder, we're simply going to select our file type by extension, come down here to JPEG, and click Export. So we have everything saved. Now remember, with every single assignment you complete in image design, you're going to create two images. This is your first image. Now I'm going to walk you through the steps to complete your second image for unit six. Um, I'm not going to complete the entire assignment. I'm just going to walk you through the steps. You'll complete it on your own. So we're going to start by creating a new template just like we did for our first image, 800 by 600, and we have our new canvas. We're now going to save this in our Unit 6 folder, and we're going to save it as draw without tracing.xcf. That .xcf, remember, is our GIMP image, our GIMP file, which we definitely need. <clears throat> Okay, so for this project, it's going to be a little bit different than the fruit image. We're not, you don't have to create fruit again. If you'd like to, you can, but you don't need to. So we've opened a new file. We've saved it as draw without tracing in our unit six folder. And now we're going to set up two layers. So if you recall in the fruit image, we set up three layers. So I'll walk you through setting up two new layers. Now, Whoops, I don't want to be in the fruit image. I want to be in our new image. So you're going to click layer, new layer. And you get to decide what you want your objects to be. So I want you to decide right now at least two objects that you're going to create. Um, your objects can be whatever you want them to be. I you do not need to do what I am doing. <laughs> you decide what you want your object to be. So if you want to, you be creative and create whatever you want to create. I'm going to write Christmas tree and transparency. That's my layer one. It's transparent. You can tell with the check boxes. My second layer, I'm going to type present. Make sure transparency is selected and then click OK. So I've now set up my two layers. The next thing is to draw my object. So you're going to draw your object. Um, so my object I chose was a Christmas tree. So you'd select that layer, make sure you're on the correct layer. Okay. And then over here in your, you're going to select your paintbrush. Usually I'm going to stick with my pixel three by three, choose a color, <clears throat> whatever color you want and size of brush, and then you would draw the outline of your image. I'm just doing this rather quickly. You will take your time. Um, and the only thing you need to do is make sure that your lines are connected. Okay, so if you need to review the steps of how to draw an image, you'll refer back to part one of the unit six graded assignment, the part one video to help you review those steps. You're then going to use the fuzzy select tool to create a selection and you're going to color in your object number one. Now, I'm not going to take the time to do that. You'll follow the same steps you did with the fruit image. If you need to refer back, please go back to part the part one video. You'll then, <clears throat> we're going to go on to drawing your object number two. So you then go to your object number two layer, make sure you're on that layer. You then draw the object. Follow those steps. If you need to go back, review, go back and review. I'm doing a really fast job here, not taking much time. You'll take your time. <clears throat> draw your object. You would um, repeat using the fuzzy select tool to color it in. Um, the same that you did with object number one. You're then going to work on each layer to add detail 
to each object, to object one and object two, whatever you named those. You'll then reorder the layers, move the objects around as you'd like, refer to um, part two of the unit six graded uh, assignment, the video part two, to if you need help um, adding detail and moving and reordering the layers. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add special effects to your objects. Um, that's also in the video part two if you need to refer back how to add special effects to your objects. And what's different about this second image is that you do not need to create another brush. So in the fruit image, we created that orange brush. For this second one, you don't need to create another brush, but you do need to use that clipboard brush on the background layer. Okay, so you're going to refer to the part two video if you need help with these steps. When you're all done, you're going to go ahead and save and export your image as a JPEG. So you'll go ahead and click File, Save your Draw Without Tracing. We're pretending that this is done. It's clearly not done, <laughs> but yours will be. And then I'm going to export. Remember to export it as a JPEG in your Unit 6 folder. And now I'm going to walk you through the steps to submit this assignment. Now, submitting this assignment will be a little bit different than um, your other assignments that you've submitted just because you need to also submit to me your orange brush. Now, these are the steps to get that orange brush. So you're going to go to your start menu, get your computer. I'm just going to walk you through this here. Okay. And then you want to go to your local disk C. And then here, you're going to go to your program files, GIMP2, double click, share, GIMP, 2.0, brushes, and then from here you should be able to get my brushes, but I am not seeing them. Oh dear. Let's see. We'll go from users, L Brown, GIMP2, brushes, my brushes. Here we go. And we're simply going to right, select your orange brush, right click and copy. You'll then come back <clears throat> to your image design folder. Go to your course resource files, go to unit six, and you're going to paste that in. You'll see that I have my orange brush. So to submit this assignment, you'll have your fruit XCF. This is your GIMP image, your fruit JPEG image, your draw without tracing GIMP image, your draw without tracing JPEG file, and then your copied orange brush. Once you have all of those, you're ready to submit. So you'll go ahead and go back, right click your unit six folder, send it to a zipped folder, and you're ready to submit this to the Dropbox. So here you then go in to the course, Go into image design. An easy way to get to your assignments is to go to tools, assignments. You then could scroll down to your unit six graded assignment. You can review the grading rubric to make sure both of your files meet the criteria. And then you're going to click add a file. I'm going to go ahead and just drag in my zipped folder. Whoops, 
didn't like me there, did it? And there we go. Click add. I'm going to wait for it to load. And once it's loaded, I'm just going to simply click submit. I'm not going to click submit because I don't want to grade my own work, but you will go ahead and click submit. And that is the end of your unit six project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one if you need. Please use these help videos and review them, pause them, go back and follow the steps. They have everything you need. Good luck, and I look forward to viewing your creative images.